Hey guys, I am back to plan for the week of Halloween, which is October 25th through the 31st. I love weeks when Halloween, you know, just hits perfectly. Uh, you know, for us planning people, it just fits right in that week. Awesome. So I'm going to go over what I'm using. I am using the Hey Witches kit from Cross Press in premium matte. I am using black foil and I'm also pulling in some silver. I kind of did that at the last minute and I love the way that it turned out. Um, what else? So the items are from Moonlit Paper Co. Most of the black items. The silver items are from Planner Choco. Yeah. So what I'm going to do a little different this time, instead of babbling about what I'm doing, um, I'm going to do some Halloween tag questions. So we'll just get right into it. So favorite horror or Halloween theme song. I'm definitely going to go with This is Halloween from The Nightmare Before Christmas. There was some really cool renditions released this year, and I really... I kind of, it solidifies how much I love that song. So, number two, name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or an abandoned building. Probably just another person. Like, um, that, you know, would be creepy. I mean, they could be totally innocent. There could be nothing wrong with that person. But I just don't want to run into another person and... and a spooky situation. So number three, have I ever played with a Ouija board? No, I have not. Number four, favorite horror monster or villain? Um, so from the like spooky, like kid aspect, definitely Oogie Boogie villain wise. Um, if we're going like horror, then it, I love the well the new Pennywise I guess um I love the new it series so five the creepiest thing that has ever happened while I was alone hmm like honestly I'm just kind of a scaredy cat sometimes when I'm home alone and I don't think really anything I don't nothing really sticks out to me but I definitely am one of those people that I need to turn on some kind of light. Like when I'm walking into the bedroom or if I hear sounds, I tend to freak out. So um, number six, if you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? Depending on who I was there with. Like if I had to do it alone, oh, hell no. But if I was around comfortable people, then definitely. Um, number seven, am I superstitious? No, not really. Like, maybe a little bit, but not too, too much, I guess. Um, number eight, do you ever see figures in your perif peripheral vision? I would say that I have. I swear, like, you you just, like, see things and you just kind of like, what the hell is that? Uh, that has happened to me a few times before. Um, nine, which urban le legend scares you the most? Um, I think I might have talked about this before, but there is a, like, um, urban legend, like, kind of close to my area. It's called Goro Orphanage. And the whole story was it was an orphanage that burned with all of the inhabitants inside of it and all the children. So they say that the area is, um, haunted. I, as a teenager, we would venture out to Goro Orphanage all the time, but I don't even think we were in the correct location, but it was just one of those things when you're a teenager that was just like, oh my god, let's go to Goro Orphanage and see what happens. Um, number 10, do you prefer gore or thrillers? I'm definitely a thriller girl. Number 11, do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? Yes, Absolutely. Number 12, have I ever made a po potion of any sort? I mean, I think we all as kids kind of like play that we're the potion masters, but I haven't really like seriously ever done anything like that. 
Um, number 13, do you get scared easily? Absolutely, I do. <laughs> I am a scaredy cat, 1000%. Um, number 15, do you believe in demons or the devil? Um, I don't know. Maybe, but not like, I don't know. I guess not. Um, number 16, you're home alone, but you hear footsteps in your house. What do you do? Um, go wake my husband up. Yeah. If I'm home alone, um, then I'm turning on like the funniest movie, um, blaring it so I can just kind of drown it out. Um, number 17, if you get trapped in one scary movie, which one would you choose? Oh, God. Um, I don't know. I don't, may, maybe it, I don't know. <laughs> but that is a terrible question because I don't know because I'm scared and I would be absolutely terrible in scary movies. Um, number 18, if you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um probably a witch it's so easy and so generic and um it was it kind of reminds me of my daughter's grandma that passed away this past year um she would always wear her witch's hat or do some kind of witch um let's see 19 would you ever go to a graveyard at night yes um number 20 in a zombie apocalypse what is your weapon of choice Probably, like, give me a blood, like, an object to bludgeon someone. Because, you know, obviously you want a gun because that's, like, easy, fast, but it's loud. And you run out of bullets, so. Number 21, would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick-or-treating? Um, trick-or-treating, for sure. I love going trick-or-treating. Okay, so number 22, you're in a horror movie. Are you the final girl, the first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer? The comic relief, 1,000%. <laughs> it's funny because I do the same thing. I'm like the comedic relief at like haunted houses and stuff. I'm like scared until I'm not scared and then I start to like make fun of stuff. Um, Let's see. Number 23, do you have to watch something happy? After watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep? Yes, 1,000%. <laughs> 24. While watching scary movies, are you the person who yells at the characters, the person with their eyes covered the whole time, or the person who falls asleep? Um, I'm a combination of yelling at the characters or laughing at the characters and the person with my eyes covered. It depends on how scared I am. Number 25. Are you the one who gets scared or the one who does the scaring? Um, kind of half and half. It just really all depends. I'm easily scared, but I do like to scare people at the same time. Um, 26. Favorite scary book? I would say, like, this is kind of dorky, but all I can think of is Goosebumps. So, we'll go with that. 27. How old were you when you fought, saw your first horror movie? Um, I'm gonna say, like, maybe sixth grade. Uh, we watched Scream at a, my birthday party sleepover. Um, 28, what was your first Halloween costume? I don't remember my first Halloween costume, but one of the costumes that always stuck out in my head was the Rainbow Bright costume because it was like really nice quality and the hair was really good. Um, 29, what am I going to be for Halloween this year? I did not dress up this year, sadly. And finally, number 30, if you could have a spooky Halloween pet, black cat, owl, bat, rat, or wolf, what would you, what would you pick? Definitely a black cat. I love me some cats. So and that was the spooky question. Sorry, I like lost my train of thought. So I'm just going to finish off the spread. So nothing really major this week uh, to report. Um, I did some planning. So I've been really good. I am after these two videos, I'm all caught up. I even have the base filmed for the first week of November, which is great because I'm gonna have to be packing my planning stuff up and I don't 
know what my situation for filming is going to be like. So I wanted to get as much done as possible. Um, this was the day, the week though, that we, um, did get denied for two places, uh, that we had applied for, um, due to our current apartment. Um, I guess I'll tell the story. Um, so with most rental companies, they have to do, you know, like your background check, your credit score check, uh, your landlord verification and, our landlord verification came back and was the reason that we got failed. Um, and it was because they said failure to pay our rent on time and failure to renew our lease. So those were the two ones that they kind of failed us in, which is, if you guys have been with me, um, I fought to try to get a new lease signed, so... That really wasn't in our control. To so to fail us over something like that uh, is unfair. And I personally have proof that we have paid our rent on time for the last twelve months. And I can probably tell you the last five years, um, I don't think I've been late on rent. So uh, we had to. This was the week that we got in touch with the corporate office that owns our apartment complex to kind of escalate it further because we're in the point now where um, we're scared that we're going to get denied again just because of the the things that our current apartment is basically making up. Um, so yeah, that is what we had to deal with this week. <clears throat> Um, so it was just kind of an another, again, challenging week, but we have just kind of been working on it. We are probably going to go to half, or we are going to our emergency plan of moving our stuff into storage and staying in a hotel. So that's where we're at now. Um, this week also, finally, my... Uh, dad's inscription on his gravestone got finished so that was great and this day that I'm planning so on Thursday we did go to a haunted house which was so fun then Friday that morning I did some errands went and got a tea and uh, this was our weekend with the kids so we went and picked up the kids And then after we came home from getting the kids, I did need to run a couple more errands that I didn't get to finish before we had to pick them up. Um, so I went out and did those. And then last week was the final um, regular season home game for my daughter's school, but they actually made the playoffs. So we went to the away game and sadly it was a very hard loss, but they ended up losing so that was pretty much all we did on Friday. Then Saturday. Saturday was a chill day. It was trick-or-treat day, but we spent the first half of the day just kind of resting, relaxing, just hanging out. But I, I wasn't great the first half of this day. Um, I was really in my feelings. It was... I was just not doing great and I at first wasn't even going to go trick-or-treating and then I finally am so glad that I did. It was just a rough first half of the morning. So once I kind of shook that off a little bit, I did um, help get the kids ready to go out trick-or-treating. I did uh, Serenity's hair and stuff to get them all ready. I hate when I do this. Like, I put, like, <laughs> two sections of boxes down when I should just be putting the... I am crazy. I am all over the place. <clears throat> so then now I finally decide to put character stickers down. <laughs> 
yeah, but, uh, so I did mark trick or treating. That was nice. Um, it was, the weather was halfway decent until like the last half an hour we were out. It started raining pretty good. The kids wanted pizza for dinner because we actually didn't have a chance to eat beforehand because we had a late lunch. So we did get pizza that night. And then we came home and watched Nightmare Before Christmas. And it was bath night, so. <laughs> we got them all cleaned up. Especially because I put spray glitter in Serenity's hair because she was Elsa and I was trying to find white hairspray <clears throat> to like lighten her hair because she has like real like dirty blonde hair so it wasn't that big of a deal but um I couldn't find any white hairspray but I did find silver glitter hairspray <laughs> which it was a mess so I wanted to make sure that I wash it out of her hair like ASAP and then Sunday was Halloween, so I did use that box to use my little Halloween script sticker. This day, I did literally sleep all day. I think it was just kind of the combination of what I, how I felt the day before. <clears throat> but I felt terrible about it because I missed like an entire day with the kids. But you know, sometimes that just how things work so um this was the day that we did take them back and drop them off so I did use that little squared box um and then since I did sleep all day I was up all night so I did some editing I uploaded some videos and I started re-watching The Handmaid's Tale not re-watching it I st tried to start watching it and I wasn't really into it at first so I wanted to give it a try again and this time I'm hooked so I love that little squidge with the kids and the, like the little baby squidges and the pumpkin so cute so I am going to fill everything out um basically like normal add some music I hope you guys enjoyed this week's plan with me if you guys haven't subbed already definitely hit that sub button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.